Right my friends, how we doing? And welcome back to another reaction video. It is Monday, the 6th of September. And the last time I saw you guys, unfortunately, was Friday. Friday afternoon, early afternoon, uh, on the 3rd of September. So what's happened is, um, well, I've actually gone out and drunk far too much alcohol on Friday. Look, I'm going to admit it. And uh, to be honest, when we think about that and we, we think about the player that we're about to react to, he has actually just gone four years completely sober, so maybe I should take a bit of a leaf out of Darren Waller's book. Anyway, regardless, it's uh, it's been an absolutely terrible two days, and uh, the battery is slowly but surely recharging, and that's why we're back here today. So guys, thank you for being here. If you do enjoy the video, remember to like it. If you want to stay up to date with the channel and see every video that drops, definitely hit that uh, notification bell. And uh, I think that's the first time I've actually asked for you to hit the notification bell this entire series, which is, I, I guess, a bit of an oversight on my part. But hey, we're not here to talk about me. We're here to talk about Darren Waller. And he's a six foot six tight end that's come into the league. It's his second year. He made it on the list just last year by the skin of his teeth uh, with number 99. And this year he's jumped up 64 spots and lands himself smack bang at number 35. So guys, it's time I get this coffee in. It's time we roll the intro and crack into it. Yeah. And we continue. Let's have a look. World class speed. One place stick out to me, man. It ended up getting called back, but world class. World class speed. And I will say that that is something that I didn't recall, but something that excites me a lot, especially with his size and the position he plays, of course. Speed. One play stick out to me, man. It ended up getting called back, but like Sue got the ball and he was like gone, gone. And all I see is this big old guy, <laughs> 83 running past. I'm like, man, who is this? Like, Hang on, is that DK or is that Darren Waller? You know, he on the other team and he hopped him down. Let's see that again. I oh, know. Possibly the same game, but not the same play. Let's go. Let's go. We gotta spike the ball. Good job, man. Nice job. I'm bad at spiking. I'm bad at everything. Who needs to celebrate? <laughs> Come on, bruh. That's a bit harsh. Great. When you can do everything else. Best tight in the league. Uh, I mean, I still on the field. I think I'm the best tight in the league. Well, I like to hear that. Nothing wrong with a little bit of confidence. I mean, I still on the field. I think I'm the best tight end in the league. If you want to talk about an athlete, I mean, every time I see the guy run, it's just like a, watching a Clydesdale fly around on the field. He's so light on his feet and such a big dude. He's a bigger guy, but he has the same skill set, the same tools as a smaller receiver. He's like a, like a wide receiver, but in a tight end body. Guys that size with that type of athletic ability are just hard to find. That's how you end the game. Definitely an anomaly at a position. You line him up in one on one. Actually, come to think of it, has he always played tight end? Darren Waller. Darren Charles Waller is an American football tight end for the Raiders. And look, I, I think I might have put my foot in it uh, earlier on in the video. I said that he was drafted two years ago, but that was when he went to the Raiders. And actually, even that's not true. He's played three seasons at the Raiders. He's played six seasons altogether, although he was suspended. And come to think of it, if he's been sober for four years and got suspended back in 2017, which is indeed four years ago, maybe that was something to do with it. Let's have a read. Suspended for four games for violating the league's substance abuse policy. All right, so first of all, did he play receiver? He did play receiver at college. He played receiver. He went from strength to strength at Georgia Tech. Uh, first year, eight receptions for 162 yards, no touchdowns. Second year, 17 receptions for 367 yards with three touchdowns. And his third and final year, 26 receptions, 442 yards and six touchdowns. Bringing his career totals as a tight end to 33 games, 51 receptions, 971 receiving yards, and nine receiving touchdowns. He does have elite speed, 446 in fact, and he's just over six foot six, 37 inches on the vertical jump, 10 foot five on the broad jump, and 12 reps on the bench. Played as a wide receiver, was drafted as a wide receiver, 
In fact, the 27th wide receiver drafted in that class. I can't, I can't really see exactly when he transferred into a tight end position, but I assume it's when he got picked up by Oakland. But prior to that, in 2016, during his second year in the league, he was suspended for the first four games of the season for violating the league's substance abuse policy. And unfortunately, the year after, on June 30th, 2017, in the offseason, he was suspended for a whole year without pay for again violating the substance abuse policy. On August the 7th, 2018, he was reinstated by the league after his year-long suspension. Uh, but unfortunately, prior to the start of that season, he was waived and was signed to the practice squad the next day. Later on, during the regular season, he was signed by the Raiders off of the Ravens practice squad. During the 2018 season, he had six receptions for 75 yards and became a star of the Hard Knocks series the next year in 2019. Talked about his substance abuse issues. I believe that's most probably where this, this story sort of got its legs. Went out, played 16 games, had 1,145 yards and three touchdowns. Then he came back last year, played another 16 games, got another 1,000 yards, in fact, 1,196, and nine receiving touchdowns. So he's going from strength to strength, both physically and mentally. And for anyone wondering, I do have a particular video saved. I uh, believe it's by NFL Films, NFL Films, talking about Darren Waller's journey from uh, grocery clerk uh, through substance issues, obviously, and then into the league. So that'll be a good watch. But for now... Let's continue. With a, with a linebacker nine times out of ten, he's going to win that matchup. So, put a corner on him. He understands how to run routes, the timing of routes. He has the full route tree. He can go right, left, go. Try a safety. Well, he sure can because he played wide receiver for three years. Looks fired. Well, make that six years. High caught in the back of the end zone by Waller for a touchdown. He looked like a basketball player. You know, you just throwing the ball low. He's just remind me... He reminds me of a young Jimmy Graham. You just throw the ball up, he's going to go grab it. You can't coach that. You can't coach a guy to go up there and say, okay, I'm going to go take this ball off the top of the rim off this guy. He had that mindset, if that ball in the air is, is his. I mean, somebody with his size, he can, he can move, run, catch like a wide receiver. Damn. Oh my God. And look, with mid four, and look, six foot six, mid four fours for the 40 yard dash, you know, with the agility uh, to move on a dime like that, yeah. <laughs> Absolute dynamite. In the tight end position, it's like putting your best wide receiver as a tight end. Have him closer to the quarterback, more chances to, to get those those short shorter passes, and then do something with the ball. Make some yards. Break some tackles. Moss some people. It's a tough matchup. Or he can just release. Which was your favorite game? Um, this would be good. I'll probably have to say the Jets game. I never even ever dreamed of going for 200 yards in a game. Not only my statistically best day, but one of the best statistical days ever for a tight end or just a receiver in general. In 2020. So he still sort of sees himself as a receiver. And I will say that for a man of that size to juke this guy out without even getting touched that is impressive 200 yards in week 13 against the jets he had 13 receptions for 200 receiving yards establishing a new raiders franchise record for a tight end while also scoring two touchdowns his 107 receptions ranked fourth in the nfl and first among tight ends for last year whilst his yardage ranked 10th overall and second among tight ends behind travis kelsey's 1416 Waller led all tight ends with 107 receptions. No Raider has ever had more. <laughs> well, or you could say it like that. Look, I'd probably prefer to hear those stats from you, mate, with your dramatic accent and, and tone, tone of voice. But uh, look, I did your job for you. Some people think I'm just still like a cute story. Uh, they think I'm like, oh, man, he came back. Like, he's a drug addict. Blah, 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 blah. That's great. I feel like people take inspiration from that. But I'm a great football player, too. I've never left a game feeling like this guy won. Never felt that way. 95. Chris Jones. Chris Jones, man. Chris Jones is the star of the next video at number 34. But guys, that was another video done. Darren Waller, a guy who, you know, clearly has been through his trials and tribulations. 
um, in his you know short 28 years on this earth. But he ain't a kid anymore and he's certainly not a drug addict. So that my friends is a success in itself. But for him to be balling out, the second most successful tight end for the year, he's got the respect from his peers. You know, this ain't a comeback story anymore. He is shining and will continue to shine throughout this year. He, he is going to be one for me to watch actually. Uh, I'll be looking out for him. And he is kind of hard to miss seeing as he is six foot six. But anyways guys, it's time for me to take off. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Peace out.